Let's go to the main event. Men's War Games. Men's War Games. Kevin Owens, Drew McIntyre, and all members of Brawling Brutes took on the Bloodline. Two thumbs up. Everything about this was a two thumbs up for me. One thumbs up from me. I think story was excellent. I think that's the well, that's the part that kind of you know again, it probably would have been better if they incorporate some raw stars perhaps into this match because again SmackDown centric. But um, you know I think that Survivor Series could take advantage of of doing the build up. Right, um, doing a build up on Raw as well. They could take right. advantage of that, especially right. with well, keep the it, keep men it. holding titles from both shows. I think it made sense for the women's to be all Raw if it's if they wanted the Bloodline to be in the match, have all the members of Bloodline in it. Right. Do do what I would I really want them to do a Raw versus SmackDown relation here? No. no. Because Roman Reigns is feuding with Kevin Owens, Drew McIntyre, Brawling Brutes. Right. That's right now what they're doing. Right. But with Sami Zayn now going full Uso, betraying Kevin Owens, and really securing that, they're going to build to Owens and Zayn taking the titles off of the Usos. I think that's what they're going to do. I think Reigns is going to make the call mm -hmm. to kick Sami out. Owens helps his friend. That's your mania match. Right. And I think that's where they're going to do it. Right. Um, that's the only thing that makes logical sense to me. It would be a feel-good moment. You take finally get the titles off of the Usos. You put them on best friends. WrestleMania moment. And Sami Zayn right now is the most popular thing in WWE. Right. So anyways, what was the order? Okay. Uh, Butch and Jay Uso started. Ridge Holland, Sami Zayn, Drew McIntyre, Jimmy Uso, Kevin Owens, Solo Sokoa, Sheamus, and obviously the final person was Roman Reigns. Mm -hmm. uh, just a great match all the way around. I thought pacing was exactly where it needed to yep. be. There was great moments within the match itself, including the Sami Zayn heel turn, and it was the splash on Kevin Owens for the win, and finally Jay and Sami hugged because that was the animosity Right. But Roman, when he hugs Sammy, the facial expression changes. Right. And it's like, that's what I want. Right. What does that mean? That gets me, as a viewer, curious what on what's happening right. next. When are they going to do the Sammy, the Sammy turn? Right. I don't know. But I think that's what they're going to do when I saw this. Uh, with Brutes and McIntyre, I think they kind of wrapped this up in a nice little bow. Yeah. But I think they're really going to primarily focus on KO yeah. with Bloodline at this point. Um, maybe distract them with Brawling Brutes and McIntyre to really kind of even out the odds. Yeah. But as of right now, that's kind of where I'm sitting on it. It was a great way to end the show. And I just thought overall I was very satisfied with this Survivor Series. I enjoyed it, mm -hmm. and um, I got my money's worth from Peacock with it. All right, so what are we talking about next week? So next week we have – is that our he double header for pay-per-views? No, that's, oh, no, that's the weekend, weekend after. after. Um, I think it's up in the air right now. I don't think there is a pay-per-view scheduled for next week. So – TBD. Yeah, TBD on what we're going to be doing with it. So if you did enjoy this video, remember to like, subscribe, or follow. If you're listening or watching us, become a patron. You get some cool perks. Get a hat. There is a link down below in the description. And as always, be majestic.